Now I'm going to show you how to use the photo enlarger when sitting down looking forward at the subject and this, this orientation with the, uh, with the Lucy. So again, you want to remove the thumb screw from the filter mount that you're attaching the photo enlarger to. In this case, I left the, uh, the platform attached. So I'm just going to reattach it like this. Just take it through the lens and just attach it. And then if um, this is off the wrong way, kicked off one side or the other, just loosen the, loosen that screw, tighten it back up. Now you look through here and you just take your photograph, any photographs you have, uh, has to be four by six is what's recommended. Um, five by seven is the maximum you might be able to do, but definitely four by six is what I would recommend. If it gets too big, the, the photo gets too big, you're going to start blocking the view of your reflection with the larger photo. So smaller photo, 4x6 is preferred. Um, you look through here and you're going to attach it on here, usually on the bottom portion, about like that. But look through here and kind of see how it reflects onto your image, um, onto your paper where you want it. I'm going to go ahead and tape it right there. The photograph goes from here to here, off the top here. So I'm actually just seeing the center part of the photograph because it's enlarging it so much. If I wanted to see, I could lower this down further if I wanted to have more of the uh, photo on here. Um, but this, this works well. You just make sure you're kind of cropping your photo, seeing where you want it to, uh, um, what part of the photo you want to see, get it, get it laid out in here. And then it's the same, the same drawing um, technique that you use when using a live object. You just look through there and you can draw the image and uh, just draw until you have a good sketch of what, it is you want to, uh, of what it is you want in there and what you don't want. If you want the image brighter, you can add a filter in the bottom. And if the image is too bright, you can add a filter together with the lens in the top. And, and as always, look through there, hold the filter one way or another and see, see what gives you the best balance. Typically with this orientation, um, you're, you're less likely to need a, need a filter just because the image is a little bit brighter generally. And right here, I'm fine without the filter. But if you do need it, throw a filter and make it a little bit brighter and uh, then just draw the image like you would anything else.